Japan is beautiful and interesting and the food is absolutely delicious, but there are a few things that were very shocking to us as we traveled around. The first one being Tokyo is so quiet. Tokyo is the most populated city in the entire world, so we were extremely shocked to find out just how quiet it was. So quiet. <laughs> like, when we got off our first train and we, like, walked out into Tokyo, it was, like, spooky how quiet it was. We are a 20-minute walk away. It is literally so quiet. Oh, yeah, probably. Okay. We're gonna go to our hotel now. This is crazy. When you're like out in the streets, like either nobody is really talking that much or they're talking like so quiet to each other. And the cars too. Yes, the, the cars. For some reason, the cars just didn't make a lot of noise. Even like the bigger trucks and the buses, like it just, they didn't make a lot of noise. It's just so quiet and it's so clean like i know that everyone knows that tokyo is super clean but like when you factor in like how many people there are like mm -hmm. it's crazy and of course when you compare it to and other... how little trash cans there are oh yes there's little trash cans that's also a minor one that shocked us too <laughs> but like when you factor in like the amount of people that are there and when you look at other big cities around the world you just like a lot of a lot of huge cities they're going to have trash on the streets. That's just a part of having a lot of people there, mm -hmm. but Tokyo is not one of those places. Another one that we weren't really expecting is that the sushi is so simple. From the United States, we're expecting these huge extravagant like sushi rolls, like a Las Vegas roll when you get like all the different fish in there and then you like fry it. And... <laughs> <laughs> but in Japan, you just get the fish and sometimes you get the rice underneath it and yeah. that's it. There is nothing else to it. That is exactly how everybody eats their sushi. The sushi was so good and like it didn't taste fishy at all. But like sometimes I was like it kind of just feels like I'm eating rice and soy sauce with like a little piece of jelly on top because the fish like had no flavor. It was so clean I guess. Yeah I mean you just like you taste the fish you like let it I just kind of let it sit there on my tongue and just like appreciate it because there just wasn't like that weird fishy taste that you yeah. get from like a lot of fish when you're kind of far away from the ocean. And since we're on the topic of kind of food, Japan, oh my goodness, we love you. When we travel full time, like finding water is a huge thing for us. Like we're always trying to find clean water. We always have to go buy gallon jugs to brush our teeth and drink. In Japan, we can just drink the water from the sink and that is amazing that is so fantastic when you even see just the drinking water available just like right on the sink in the hotel you know that the water is going to be and clean. all the restaurants give you uh, water and ice and they have ice everywhere oh love that that's just like water and uh, like ice is just a huge bonus on top of the already great thing water and so we're just like it's just so excited i'm sure it's going to be like that everywhere in japan we are going to mount fuji soon so i'm sure the water that like we get from the sink there that's coming straight from like the ice melting off of mount fuji it's going to be so delicious oh i can't wait for that one okay so when you're on the streets in tokyo I ha I can't pass by somebody and not make eye contact and smile. And nobody smiles back. Everyone is so nice when you talk to them, but I don't think that when you're on the streets, you smile back at people. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's just one of the things that we've picked up on culturally, just like from our own upbringing, is that like, oh, you pass by somebody and you just like either wave or you smile at them and you go about your day but in japan like everybody's like kind of keeping their like head down yeah. they don't really like try to make eye contact with you and it's not like they're trying to be mean or anything like that it's just like they don't like smile back at you which is totally fine as long as we like accepted that fact and we're like okay that's just not going to happen but it's just kind of like a reflex for us to just be yeah. like ah, smile and then just like there's nothing in return but that does not mean that they are mean or that they're not nice it's yeah it's really us just being like we need to smile at everyone that we see but i guess when you're in tokyo you would never stop smiling because you're just <laughs> always passing by someone. So you just have to paint a permanent smile on your face. I don't know. I smiled at probably like 
200 people at our time so far in Tokyo and Sapporo and I think like two people have smiled back at me. But everyone's really nice, so it's fine. Something that definitely shocked me when it came to public transportation is that we couldn't use our credit cards to pay for the trains. We just knew that coming to Japan, trains are a big thing here and we'd probably just be taking them everywhere with like the subway just in between the cities and maybe like when we go to other cities as well. But you cannot just tap your card and go on through. It, the, one of the things that it said, like there's a sign on the actual machine that you use to like put your ticket in. It said Apple Pay on there, so I was assuming, well, okay, if, if I tap my card and it doesn't work, maybe it'll work on Apple Pay, so I tried to use it on my phone. That didn't work either, and so I was super confused, but then I just found out that we had to pay cash to pay for the train tickets. Yeah, we had to use all of our coins, which we got a lot of coins in Japan, so it worked out because we would just use all of our coins for the train, but yeah, it was shocking that, like, I don't know, we were just in Singapore, so maybe in our heads, like in mm -hmm. Singapore, when we wanted to go on the train, we would just walk right through, tap our card, and it would open up. So but, that was in our heads. But you can actually just tap your card and go on through if you get like the IC mm -hmm. card. We haven't gotten that yet, but like we just saw like most of the people, especially like all of the locals, they just had their little like prepaid card mm -hmm. and they just tapped it and walked on through, which was, uh, it would make it a lot more simple <laughs> if we got one of those. Now, one of the biggest things that kind of made me sad when we were in Tokyo is you hear so much about like these wild vending machines that are like have scorpions and bugs in them and like french fries and, and i wanted to try them and there was we we we've been in japan for a while in tokyo sapporo and there's just there's just drink vending machines which is very nice i get coffee from them all the time i get coke from them all the time but i thought that i would be able to like casually stop by and get like a bag of chips out of the vending machines but We've only seen drink ones. Maybe you have to really do a lot of hunting to like, or maybe even doing some research to find out the vending machines that like have those scorpions or chocolate covered bugs. I don't really know what would be in them, but I just like thought that we would just stop on the side of the street and be like, okay, cool, let's let's try this snack. But mm -hmm. that does not seem to be the case. It looks like there's like a lot of uh, Coke machines. You can get soda from them. You can get coffee, tea, tea like apple juice. There's just like a lot of, Things. Oh, the melon soda, though, from there is really good. <laughs> Big fan. There's a lot of good things in the vending machines, but then there's no, like, snacks. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I don't know if we just ran into the wrong area, but, like, we, we've looked at hundreds. We are going back to Tokyo, so maybe we'll find some then. This one is kind of shocking, but I think everyone knows that people in Japan are just super polite and, like, so nice and polite and they don't force anything on you because we're just coming from like all these different countries everywhere in the world everywhere europe asia south america everywhere we've been the united states people are like constantly like when you're in like kind of touristy areas they're like buy this buy this eat at my restaurant yeah, eat here trying like, to get you in their shop yeah nobody does that in japan which i really appreciate because I really don't like that. I'm like, please give me my space. If I want to buy your thing, I will buy your thing. But everyone in Japan is so chill. They're just doing their thing, cooking their food, selling whatever, and they're not like loitering you in. <laughs> Maybe that's why they have all those vending machines out there because the vending machines don't talk to you saying, oh, come buy for me. <laughs> it's really nice though. I really, really appreciate it, that. Because a lot of the time it's just like really overwhelming to yeah. just have like five different people like like shouting at you like, oh, buy my thing, buy my thing. And you're just like, I don't know if I want to. Like maybe I did want to, but now I kind of don't. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about Paris and how much people there would just be like, take this, take this. And like, I would be like, you are actually one inch from my face, sir. Please go away. Something that I found very interesting and something that I expected to happen, Japan drives on the left side of the road, so I just assumed that everybody would walk on the left side of the sidewalk. That's something that's like, uh, I would say it's kind of universal. Like mm -hmm. if you drive on the right side of the road, you would walk on the right side of the road. Uh, but in Japan, Maybe there's just like so many people and there's like, you have to turn right, you have to turn left, you have to go straight. Like there's just so many different ways to walk that like, 
everybody just kind of runs into each other. Nobody really like walks on like one side of the road. Just like it's a whole it's mash a of people. Mosh pit, man. <laughs> like we were like, okay, we have to be like really careful about where we walk. Like we don't want to like offend anyone, but everyone's just walking everywhere. <laughs> they're like they're taking like everybody is just taking the like most direct route possible. Like oh, I have to turn right. I'm just gonna cut across people, and like that's totally fine because yeah. like everybody just kind of knows that. But like us going into that situation it's like oh just be like really respectful and then just like stay to the left but then like people are running into you because you're not yeah there's people right walking way. straight at you when you're like on the left side trying to it... that's just kind of like a funny one that yeah. like we didn't really like our, we don't care our day never got ruined by that or anything like that but it is something to, to look out so oh, keep your eyes up and, and make sure you're not hitting people when and they're trying to get to their destination yeah and don't feel too self-conscious like we were like we have to do this so perfectly because it's very orderly here but it's, it doesn't matter you just walk we have so many more japan videos coming it's gonna be amazing so make sure that you subscribe you can watch all of our japan adventures and if you want to go watch other countries around the world you can do that too thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next japan video